frittata is one of those dishes that I go to midweek when I've got very little in the fridge, but I want to make a really fast dish. It's all about the eggs you need, at least five eggs for my recipe. And get a pan that's about a medium size. Everything's done in the pan. I've also preheated my oven to 180 degrees because we're going to finish it off in the oven. Now, I've got some onions here, just a Spanish onion, and I'll add a little bit of olive oil to the base of this pan and then we'll just start to saute these onions off. Now I've done many varieties of frittatas. There are so many different ones. The beautiful thing about this is you can use whatever you like. Today I'm using mushrooms and ricotta, a little bit of spinach and lots of herbs, but change it up if you've got a little bit of capsicum or some zucchini, fantastic in a frittata. So let's start making the egg mixture while we're waiting for our onions. We need five of the eggs. Like I said, we're gonna crack them straight into a bowl. Nice fresh eggs for this. I've always got eggs on hand in my fridge because they're so versatile, not only great for a fast brekkie, but also for a fast dinner, just like this. Okay, five eggs in. We need some cream. I love the addition of cream, about 100 millilitres here, and a pinch of salt and some pepper. Now the cream will ensure that it's not too eggy or too spongy. It'll actually make it really light and delicate. So I think it's important to add that. You could also add a touch of milk if you don't have cream on hand. And for the cheese, my choice is ricotta. Again, it's really gonna make it light and fluffy. So a good amount of ricotta. And then just with a fork, we're gonna crush everything together and whisk it up until it's nicely combined and really creamy. And you can add different cheeses. I've done this with some Parmesan, a little bit of cheddar, some Gruyere. The only important thing to remember when you're making a frittata is put ingredients together that go with each other, that taste lovely. So this is ready. We're going to put that to the side now. Let's have a look at these onions. Yes, they're perfect. Really golden brown, which is fantastic. They've now turned into a caramelised onion, so a sweet onion. I'm just going to turn the heat down now so I can get on with my mushies. Now, I have some beautiful very large field mushrooms here. I'm just going to trim the stalks and then we're going to cut them into rough pieces. I've also got some Swiss brown which will also go in. So I'm just gonna finish cutting these. We'll add them to the onions and cook them down until they're really soft and mushy. Now this is broken down nicely. You saw how many mushrooms we put in there, but they really do shrink quite a lot. I'll also add some baby spinach, so about a, a handful in there, and some fresh herbs. I'm going to add a little bit of the parsley and the basil now, but I'll also garnish it at the end. So let's just take the stalks off and scrunch it up, and then we'll run our knife through it. Thyme and mushrooms go really well together too. So if you've got a bit of thyme in the garden, by all means, you could add that. And we'll sprinkle that in. And just with your fork now, just make sure it's all level down so there's not higher parts in it. So we've got a beautiful, even frittata. And now we can add our egg mixture, which is really thick because of that lovely ricotta that we've added to it. So just carefully pour that over. Now this is going to puff up slightly in the oven and we're going to cook it for about 15 minutes. I'm going to check it after 15 minutes. What we're looking for is a set centre. So it might be a little bit longer. It just depends on your oven. Every oven is different. In it goes and we'll wait for that to cook. Let's get this frittata out of the oven. I actually did leave my frittata in for another five minutes just so it can set and the best way to tell is just to touch it in the centre and if it springs back, it's ready to go. Now the mushrooms are just down the base there so I'm actually going to present it on this side and I'm just going to slip it out because this is a non-stick, it just perfectly comes out. I've still got the remaining basil here and parsley and I just like to pick it over. You could serve this with a beautiful little tomato salad, it would be lovely or just these fresh herbs are nice too. And I'm going to slice into this so we can see just a, a little wedge. You can see this will feed four people quite easily. And let's have a look. 
There you have it. See all those beautiful mushrooms down the bottom there. The egg is set nicely. Frittata, it's such a cheap meal to do, but it's got loads and loads of flavours. Don't forget, match ingredients together. You'll make the perfect frittata every time.